Whoa, whoa. Okay, what's with all the snow in my house, in my room? It's not snowing outside. You did this, didn't you? Yeah, don't, don't, don't look at me. I know you did. Get over here. You caused all the snow to be in here. Don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Bad. Ugh, now I gotta clean all this up. Hello, everybody. Um, Merry late Christmas, I guess you would say. Um, I got a lot of cool, cool stuff, I guess. Um, I would, I would say. So, I'm basically gonna show you guys what I got. Uh, basically count this as a game slash Blu-ray slash DVD slash whatever update. Um, I haven't made this in about, I haven't made one of these in about a year, so. Let's begin with the games. I, I got two of them. Um, the first one is a Jack and Daxter collection. Now, of course, if you've seen my username, I'm a big Jack and Daxter fan. I haven't played the games in a very long time, though. I still have them over there. Uh, there we go. The PS2 games are down there. But it's a really fun series. Jack 1, I love. Jack 2, I like, but it's really fun freaking hard. It, it, it's hard. It's a hard game. Jack 3 is actually my favorite in the series. And plus, I mean, you get trophies in this game. You get updated graphics. Uh, no new modes, which I was kind of disappointed about, but hey, what, 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 what can you do? So there's a the collection. Next up is Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. Um, I had the first Marvel's Capcom, but it, it was just so, let's just say, streamlined compared to this game. This one has much more modes, has much more characters, it actually has a spectator mode, which I had absolutely no clue why there was no spectator mode in the first Marvel's Capcom. I mean, just, just why? why? Why was there no spectator mode? But I, I like this. It's a fun game so far. I haven't played it in a long time, obviously, so... Plus, plus, I actually like the cover art. You can basically switch cover art, which I, I like. It's pretty cool. And hey, it actually has a manual. It actually has a manual that's more than five pages. And hey, it's colored. When's the last time? When's the last time you actually saw a manual that has more than five pages and actually has color in it? There's, there's, there's no way that you can. So, there's Marvel's Capcom Three. Really like it. Okay, guys. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the one DVD that I got, and that is ET: The Extraterrestrial. I love this movie. I love it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I remember watching this very, very long time ago. Really enjoy it. I couldn't get the I couldn't get the Blu-ray edition, unfortunately, because well, that's all I had was the DVD edition. But at the same time, like, the, the, the quality still looks good. It's still, it's still a really decent quality uh, DVD. Definitely d down the road, I'm gonna try to get the Blu-ray edition. But this is the original movie. It's not the special edition. Uh, this is why I love about Steven Spielberg. Uh, he actually has a brain, unlike George Lucas, who still has that Star Wars Blu-ray with all the special edition. It's the special edition. Why? Why? Just, just, put, just put the regular edition on there, then I can actually get Star Wars on Blu-ray. But, here's the disc. I hate these kinds of discs. This is my one main gripe. I hate these kinds of discs, because these are the clear ones. You get fingerprints all over them. I hate it. it it's terrible. Why would somebody do this? The DVD has enough special features, I mean... But I, I still want to get the Blu-ray. It's, it's, it's ET and HD. I, I've always wanted that, because I've always only had the VHS. Which is up there can't see it, but uh, I've always had the VHS of E.T., never had the DVD or Blu-ray, so, you know, step it up, <laughs> step it up. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the Blu-rays, and I have about six to show you guys. First off is The Amazing Spider-Man on Blu-ray. What else can I say about this movie? Uh, I made a review about it. I really enjoyed this movie. It's probably my third, maybe fourth favorite movie of the year. Really enjoy this. This, however, this <laughs> this is probably 
one of my favorites that I got. Because look how thick, look how thick that, that Blu-ray case is. It's thicker than a freaking PS3 disc. PS3 uh, case. Almost as thick, if not thicker. Uh, Sony makes some really good Blu-rays, people. It, they make some really good Blu-rays, and I love the slip cover. Love the slip cover for this. So, I mean, you get you get four discs of this thing. It, it, it's amazing. Oh, I showed you the code for that. There's this one too, and there's a DVD of it. Really, it's just a really good edition. And this came, and I, this is the Walmart edition, so it came with this. This is a Spider-Man mask. DVD case and see the little DVD thing here. Open this up and there's an extra bonus disc in there. Basically tells you the story about the lizard, how they made the lizard and everything, you know. I, I like that. I like that. I, I, I like little freebies that um, these the DVD uh, Blu-ray box, box sets give you. Disc is a DVD, so I mean not the best quality, but whatever. Next up is Dumb and Dumber. I got this for four bucks at Best Buy. The rest of these movies I got at Best Buy. Go to Best Buy. Uh, if you're looking for movies, if you're looking for games, go to Best Buy for, uh, for, for the holiday shopping. Because I love Best Buy, people. I love it when I get Best Buy. This was four bucks um, at Best Buy. And what else can I say? This is, this is a childhood favorite of mine. This came out when Jim Carrey was the man. Like, like... Like, nobody, nobody stopped talking about Jim Carrey when after this movie came out. And then of course it was Batman Forever, but I won't talk about Batman Forever. I already talked about that movie enough. Uh, only one disc, but hey, you're getting Dumb and Dumber on Blu-ray for four bucks. That is a steal. Next up is The Woman in Black, starring Daniel Radcliffe. This is his first, I believe, I believe this is his first post-Harry Potter movie. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. This came out February of this year. Really enjoyed it. It's a really creepy movie. It's not, it's not, let's say, it's not the scariest movie of 2012. It's not the creepiest movie either. That would go to Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods, not only did I have no fun with that movie, it was creepy. <laughs> it was creepy. But anyway, but yeah, but I love this movie. It, it, it's a really nice, like, dark, nice atmosphere in the movie. Uh, this takes place, I believe, in the 1600s? It doesn't say. From Old Village, so... It, I mean, the costumes are like they're from the 1600s, so... I, 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 like the, I like the nice period piece that this movie tried to do. And they're doing a sequel, which I don't know how. I wish I don't know how they're, they're gonna do a sequel. I don't know, but... Many of this is my favorite movie that I got at Best Buy. I got this for 10 bucks, the biggest steal ever. Best Buy had Blu-ray steel books, going for $10. And the one that I picked up was Superman Returns. This is a steel book, people. It feels awesome. It looks awesome. You know, it's a nice, it's a really nice uh, thing to put on my shelf. Only one disc, however, you're getting the most out of it. There's at least, on the box, it said at least three hours of special features, people. Plus you're getting the movie, plus you're getting all these extra, like, nice goodies. It, it, it's amazing. It, it, it really is. And again, for ten bucks, for, for Blu-ray Steelbooks, again, that, that, I don't want to sound repetitive, but that's a steal. <laughs> okay, but they had Superman Returns, they had Batman Begins, I believe, they had, um... They had the first two Hangovers on Steelbook, and they had the first two Sherlock Holmes on Steelbook. They only had this one, and I believe the Hangover movies, but... I mean, the Hangover movies are just okay. I actually thought this movie... Superman Returns, it gets a lot of hate. It gets a whole lot of hate. But I think it's extremely... I think it's extremely underrated. You know, a lot of people say it's boring. However, they probably stopped watching the movie before Superman saves uh, the plane that's about to crash in the baseball field. After you watch that scene, the movie picks up. It, it really does. Plus, I love the quality. I love the quality on this edition. So definitely pick it up. Ten bucks. You know, you can't go wrong. Plus, plus they have Superman Returns on a uh, on a Blu-ray triple pack. It has the first Superman movie, Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut, and Superman Returns on one disc. 
uh, in one uh, pack for 10 bucks too, so again, you're getting a steal. Next up is Marvel's The Avengers. I picked this up, again, at Best Buy. Really good deal. I love The Avengers. Uh, one of my favorite movies of the year, probably my second favorite movie of the year. Skyfall is probably my favorite movie of the year, then The Avengers, then Dark Knight Rises, then The Amazing Spider-Man. I love them all. But, you get a little code and everything, you get the Blu-ray, you get the DVD. A whole bunch of special features in here. Really like it. Plus I love, I love the slip cover. I love how it's all like shiny and everything when you put it in the light. Really enjoyable. Really love it. And finally, we have Hulk. I picked this up for eight bucks at Best Buy. I haven't seen this movie in a long time, people. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. A little bit of history with me in this movie. Now, when I first saw this movie in theaters, yes, I saw this movie in theaters, it was around 2003. I believe it was June 2003, so it was on summer vacation. Watching this movie. Let's just say, as a kid, this was, this, this stuff was my nightmares. I had nightmares of this movie when I was a kid. Mainly because it was just so dark. It was really dark. I appreciate Ang Lee for making uh, this Hulk, basically, basically for making Hulk as kind of like this Shakespearean tragedy uh, monster movie, which again, I appreciate him for taking comics to a whole new level for basically bringing in uh, non-readers. However, he did it kind of way wrong to a lot of people. I think this movie is still really underrated. Watching it again, again after not watching this movie for almost eight years. Had to have been eight years. Actually, yeah. Uh, next year is about ten years. So, and I, I've seen this on TV, but only a few times. I appreciate it. But this was, again and again, if you see this movie now, you can tell how far CG has come because, yeah, the CG is not very good on here. Again, watch The Avengers and uh, look at this Hulk and now watch, and then watch this movie. You can tell the, the, the big difference, big difference. But this is, I think this is a very early Blu-ray release because whenever you see these, experience high definition you can kind of tell that it's a very early blu-ray release but hey eight bucks but you can't go wrong with this because it has some nice special features on here so that's it for the blu-rays that's it for the dvds uh that's it for the games uh i can't really sh I, I don't really know what else i want to show you guys i got this uncharted book that, that's pretty cool um that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I hope everybody had a nice holiday. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a good New Year. I will see you guys in 2013. I'm gonna make more videos then. Until then, I will see you later. I had to talk to him. I, I had to talk to him. Hold on a second. Are you gonna fix this? Are, are you willing to fix this or not? Because if you're not gonna fix this, I don't know what else to do.